welcome back. It's been a while um, and I'm kicking off the new year with a very glamorous video, not, which is how to get the stains out of your carpet when your cat has been sick. So she threw up on the carpet and I cleaned up the solid stuff, sprinkled with baking powder or baking soda left it for 15 minutes and hoovered and I did this quite successfully a couple of weeks ago um, she was sick in the hall and that worked a treat it was fine no smell actually the sick it's a horrible thing to talk about sorry but it, it didn't really smell anyway it just looks gross but that worked, there was no smell anyway, so it didn't leave a smell, didn't leave a stain, it was fine. However, um, about a week ago, she did the same in the bedroom, in there's four patches. Um, I did the same thing, I picked up the solid stuff and sprinkled the baking soda, left it, left it for about half an hour, hoovered that up and it left an awful stain um, oh and I cleaned it I cleaned it with um, washing detergent same in the hall um, but this has stained um, we've had a good go uh, with Ariel like uh, diluted in water uh, rubbing it with Ariel it's lifted it a little bit so today I'm going to try out three different stain removers I'm going to try the Rug Doctor Oxy Stain Remover. I'm going to try the Dr. Beckman Carpet Stain Remover and a homemade one, which is one part white wine vinegar to eight parts water with salt. Um, I had to put it in a cup because it's supposed to be in a spray bottle and I didn't have, well I did have a spare one but I couldn't pull it out so I decided to cut away the plastic. Unfortunately I cut most of the thingy off as well so that's why it's got to go in a, in a cup but it works so that's fine. So here we go. Oh, the stains, the light is going now and you can't really, they don't look that bad. Um, but I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, so here is the first one. I don't know if you, you're going to be able to see. This is the second one. From this camera, I can see it clearly. Look, there's a little one there and then a big one there. So, um, I'll just show you from this angle, it might show up a bit more. So that's the, that one, little one there, bigger one there, and this one here. Hello. Oh, sorry, I'm having to put my face right by this sink. Thank God it doesn't smell. Right, so the first one is, is this. I'm going to do it. You just... Um, well, let's see. Okay, leave for three minutes. I'll switch this off. You don't need to watch this for three minutes. Okay, that was three minutes. Three minutes. So then it says get a white, damp cloth put over the top and blot up so there's nothing coming on the cloth so I suppose this is just um, getting off the, the stain remover So I'm going to have to come back tomorrow because this is going to be wet, isn't it? And we won't know till it's dried. I'm just going to rinse this cloth out and do it again because I can feel and I can smell the stuff. So I'm just going to rinse this cloth and do it again. That is the offending creature. Nelly! Nelly! 
there she is. Do you want to come and say hello? No, she's ashamed. Right. I can't be too cross with her because she's very old. She's 18 years old now. And so I suppose you have to expect that sort of thing. I'm not getting new carpets till she dies, that's for sure. Okay, that's the first one. We'll come back tomorrow and see how that looks. Now for number two. Okay, stain number two. And by the way, you're supposed to wear rubber gloves. Um, yes, yeah, stain number two. Um, which I will show you. This is the Rug Doctor Oxy Power Stain Remover, and basically it's telling me to do exactly what the other one said to do: spray it on, um, leave for three minutes, and then blot it up with the cloth. Let me show you the stain. doesn't even look that bad. I can't. I promise you it's the light because it looks awful in the in the morning when this room's light. Um, so I'm not just being ridiculously fussy. It's like these big yellow patches. Right, leave that for three minutes. Okay, that's three minutes up. So I'm gonna do the same, blot it up with the white cloth. I really should have done this when it was light outside. I mean, it is light, it's just this room gets the sunshine in the morning and you can really see it then. Right, okay, I've blotted that up and we'll just have to come back in the morning. I bet I won't remember which is which. I will have to leave the bottle on the stain. Okay, so this is the homemade solution of white wine vinegar, and warm water and salt. So I'm just gonna spray it till it's damp. Right, it's damp. I suppose I'll leave that three minutes as well. Oh, uh, where's my clock? Yeah, I shall leave that for three minutes, do the same. Okay, that's had its three minutes. So I will blot that up. And now it's gonna be too late for me to go out for my daylight. I was listening to, um, to Joe Good on BBC Radio London. I love her, she's hilarious. And she has a YouTube channel as well. Um, what I was going to say. Ah, she got a doctor on and the doctor basically said that daylight is the be all and end all. You have to get your daylight. In fact, daylight is the new exercise. You can use calories, burn calories and lose weight by just going out in the daylight. So that sounds good to me. So I've been trying to go for a walk every day, um, but sadly not today. I was working this morning and now it's going to be dark in about half an hour. Right, so that was the vinegar one. And, ooh, and I'm sat in a wet patch from the other one. Um, so I shall come back tomorrow and we'll see if there's a difference. Hi, it's the next day and I'm absolutely thrilled because these stains... Sorry. I'm seeing things. I 
can see a dismembered hand in the house opposite. Hang on. Panic over, the hand actually belonged to a person. <laughs> They're decorating. I don't know why it was so still. It, it was just this hand. Like for ages, I even called my daughter in to come and look. Anyway, um, yes, it's definitely attached to a person. Okay, uh, so as I was saying, or was I saying? I can't remember. I did the stain removal yesterday on the carpet and today it's a lovely bright sunny day and I was thrilled to see that I think it's got rid of the stains. One's still a bit, one's not that good but the, the best one was the Dr Beckman. Um, this one, this is the winner um, but followed very closely by <laughs> this one and the one that I did myself which was just the white wine vinegar and salt that's it's a little bit better but not as not anywhere near as good as these so I'm just going to show you the stains again now okay so this is the Dr Beckman one which oh, I don't know how well you can see this I think it might have bleached the carpet a little bit I mean I don't care because it's old and it's better than the bright yellow um, you can can you see it now this one next to it I didn't treat um, so that you can see that was a, just a little tiny one that's still yellowy so I'm gonna do that compare it to that with the Dr Beckman that's the one that I didn't do um, where's the other that still a bit yellowy that was the rug doctor and where is it oh, I can hardly see it which is brilliant this one this is the one that I did myself there so just to quickly recap um, on getting rid of cat vomit stains you need to pick up the solid matter with the kitchen roll um, and yeah flush that away sprinkle with baking powder or baking soda I can't remember which they are different it's baking soda now baking soda because I've looked this up on the internet is the same as bicarbonate of soda baking powder is a different thing baking powder has got bicarbonate of soda in but it's also got something else so it is the baking soda or bicarbonate of soda that you put on the stain leave it for 15 minutes to half an hour hoover that up and then I think if I'd used this immediately there wouldn't be any stain because this has really worked well um, I'm really pleased I, I honestly didn't think it would when I was shopping for this I saw things like um, you can buy things to clean the inside of your washing machine and the inside of the dishwasher, I do that anyway, and, and plug on blockers and all these things that I thought, well, I might do that, I'm so bored. This is the third lockdown now, so I think the first one, it was a bit of a novelty. It was like quite nice to have an excuse to stay in, but, but now, oh my God. I feel like I'm going demented. I've even rolled my clothes, I'll show you. My uh, daughter must have seen a YouTube video on it and apparently if you roll your clothes and don't fold them, um, it saves space. So she did one draw for me and it was fantastic. So this is how bored I've been. I've been, I've gone through all my drawers, my wardrobe. I haven't folded the clothes in my wardrobe. I've just sorted them out into <laughs> high order. When would I ever have done that before? So I'm just gonna quickly show you the, the drawers. Okay, so here are my rolled um, clothes. and maybe little things please little minds but i am delighted because you can just see everything so clearly and it really does save 
so much space look there's my bikinis i wish oh my god i really miss not going on holiday this year there you go rolled t-shirts i'll show you something else that i've been doing to beat the boredom um i've got this device it's called be glow be glow and i'm just going to show you what you do it really amuses me now obviously you're supposed to do this on a freshly cleansed face but i'll have to do it on top of my makeup i'm not taking my makeup off and showing you that no one had ever come back again so you just need um a serum that uh, isn't oil based, a water based serum. So this is a uh, Kate Somerville uh, recovery serum. So you put that on so it's damp and then you watch this. Hang on. It makes me laugh every time. Hang on, I don't know if you could see. It's it's doing something like electrocuting your muscles and making them contract. And there's one point on my face that it always sends me. And hang on. this twice a day and it makes me laugh every time I swear I'm not just pulling a face the other side's even worse hang on when I find the exact spot watch That's not as dramatic. It's usually worse on. Mm. It's supposed to tone and sculpt your face, but it makes me giggle anyway. Okay. <laughs> I have actually got an important job to do today. Um, so I won't be rolling my clothes or unblocking my plug holes. Um, it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow and because we can't go out and do anything, she can't have any friends over, I'm going to do her a treasure hunt. I don't know what the treasure's going to be, but I thought I'm going to leave a clues around where we live. I did it on Halloween and she really loved it. Apart from I sent her, well I didn't, I didn't send her, but she got the clue wrong and she ended up going into the park when it was pitch black with all the druggies and ne'er-do-wells. But anyway, she survived. I'm sure she'll survive tomorrow night's thing as well. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today, a treasure hunt. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, bye everyone.